The Shortest War in History, Battle in Minutes Welcome, history enthusiasts, to an extraordinary journey back in time. Today, we're going to delve into the astonishing account of the shortest war ever fought. It was a conflict so brief that it lasted just a matter of minutes. Let's uncover the intriguing details surrounding this remarkable event. Our story takes us to the year 1896, to a small region known as the Anglo-Zanzibar Sultanate, located in what is now present-day Tanzania. Tensions had been simmering between the British Empire and the Sultanate, leading to a dispute over the succession of the Sultan. On August 27, 1896, the situation reached a boiling point. The British, determined to install a ruler who was favorable to their interests, issued an ultimatum to the Sultanate. They demanded that the Sultan's chosen successor, Khalid bin Bargash, step down from power immediately. As the clock ticked, tensions rose. The British warships positioned themselves just off the coast, ready to enforce their ultimatum. Khalid bin Bargash, unwilling to relinquish his claim to power, sought support from his loyalists. And then, it happened. At precisely 9.02 am, the British warships opened fire on the Sultan's palace and other key targets. The short-lived conflict had begun. However, what made this war truly extraordinary was its rapid conclusion. Within minutes, the British bombardment inflicted significant damage on the Sultanate's forces. Realizing the futility of resistance, Khalid bin Bargash ordered a ceasefire just 38 minutes after the initial assault. And just like that, the shortest war in history came to an abrupt end. The British emerged victorious, establishing their influence over the region and installing a new sultan who aligned with their interests. The implications of this brief conflict were far-reaching. It showcased the overwhelming military superiority of the British Empire and their ability to swiftly enforce their will. The war also highlighted the complex dynamics of colonial